And welcome to another uh, Korean horror webtoon. Um, and, and this one is called The Ghost in the School Stairwell. Now, I really like these, you know, I hope you like them too. Um, I just find them really exciting and intense. Um, and it's good, it keeps you on edge throughout the entire thing. So, uh, let's, let's get right into it. Um, and it says, the following episode contains visuals and audio that may be shocking for some readers. V viewer discretion is advised, so if that applies to you, you know, as usual, just f feel free not to watch it if you don't want to. Uh, okay, and it says, turn on sound for full immersive experience. Sound has been turned on. This is going to be scary. I'm turning my volume. I'm turning my volume down. Um, a, a, a pretty good deal. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, uh, let's just start it. Um, I'm a student at a high school in Seoul, but I can't tell you which school. I'm afraid. I hope you understand. Well, I. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. I don't understand at all, actually. Our home room is in a four-story building. The stairs in the east wing are blocked off by a set of security gates that are normally locked. Okay. Oh. Oh. Why are they blocked off, I wonder? I'm, I'm sure there are many schools that restrict access to the stairs leading up to the roof. So I, you're probably right about that, actually. I imagine they do it to stop people from smoking or trying to uh, f fight up there. Or to prevent anyone from jumping off the roof. The funny thing is, our building has four floors. Okay. But the stairs are locked from the third floor up. I see, okay. The Ghost in the School Stairwell. Story and art by Harang. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> We can also use the, use the central stairs, which are actually more convenient since they're right next to the entrance. So I didn't even notice the stairwell was blocked up. That is until someone brought it up in class. Why are the why are the stairs going up to the fourth floor from near room seven blocked up? Our homeroom teacher hesitated for a moment before replying. I'm not sure, to be honest, since I'm fairly new to the school myself. Okay, that one question made me aware of the stairs in question. The only time the security gates were left open was when the students had cleaning duty. It was my job to sweep the stairs that day. Okay, interesting. And I can't tell you how many things that I think would go wrong if you had to sweep the stairs that are normally blocked off. Click. My homeroom teacher uh, brought the keys. He opened the gates between the third and fourth floors and went back down to the teacher's room. Scrape. Even though they were just normal, ordinary stairs. I felt a strange thrill from being somewhere I had only been able to look at before. Oh yeah, so kind of like so kind of like adrenaline, yeah. Sweep. Even though we're not allowed to use these stairs, that didn't stop people from throwing lots of trash through the gaps between the bars. Sweep. There was quite a lot of trash to sweep up between the third and fourth floors. All done. I headed back down to the third floor, uh, holding a, a a full dustbin. Step, step, step. <clears throat> oh. Uh, hand, arm. Stubble. Right then. Oh, I dropped everything. What the, what the heck was that? What the heavens. <laughs> oh. That scared me. Hey, you look good. Not, you don't look good at all, actually. I caught sight of a girl grabbing my ankle through the bars. I saw that she had a big... But why was she all bloody and everything? I saw that she had a big smile on her face. Thump, thump, thump. Ugh, falling down the stairs. Thud. My friends came running when they heard me fall and then I was taken to the hospital right away. 
My injuries were so severe that I needed surgery to set, my, set the bones in my arm. It was the first time I'd ever seen a ghost. I was so shocked by, by what I'd seen that I hardly noticed the pain I was in. The next day, my homeroom teacher came to see me in the hospital and started ask me, asking me some questions. What were you doing in the stairwell? How did you get in there? What do you mean? You unlocked it for me to clean. Hmm. I was sick, so I took the day off, remember? Besides, we never asked students to clean the stairwell. Oh, so maybe he's the ghost. Um. Later, a friend from school came, came to visit. He told me the story behind the stairwell. In 1997, a student who was a victim of bullying was kicked down the stairs and died. After that, there were many more incidents of students falling down the stairs. Even in, uh, then in 2009, a student who fell down the stairs was paralyzed from the waist down. The stairs were locked up for good after that. I'm a year older now, but my classes are still in the same building. Now I avoid those stairs altogether. It's probably a good idea. I would probably avoid those because I feel like she's still there waiting. <clears throat> the end. All right. Well, that that was that was good. That that was nice and exciting and scary. Uh, I was scared. I don't, I don't know about you, but I like those jump scares. Those were those were uh, those were fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I mean, I could do more of these. Just tell me in the comments if you want to see more. And um, yep, yeah, and uh, I hope you liked it. Yeah, and, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for tuning in and continue to support me. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, bye. Thanks.